Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to broadcast messages on many chats. So it's basically the chat feature on your website. Whenever people message you, they basically sign up and then you can message them directly on Facebook Messenger. Uh, thanks so much for watching. My name is Matt Frederick with Momentum Digital. This is another Momentum Monday marketing blog. Uh, make sure if you haven't yet to like and subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications. Uh, every week we like to drop videos about digital marketing and SEO. Uh, today we're going to get into how to broadcast messages on many chats. So um, stay tuned and we're going to get into the details. All right, first thing you want to do is sign up for ManyChat. If you're not sure how, you could just go to Google and type in ManyChat. You can create an account or sign up using your Facebook or Google login. You'll see that right here. And what you need to do is connect it to your Facebook business page. Uh, so for the example, uh, here's ManyChat. You'll see that you know we're still kind of getting started with it. There's a lot of different tools and settings here but we're gonna use it for my business, Phone Repair Philly. Uh, you know, I already have it on our website and people can message us from there uh, or they can message us directly from our Facebook page and they get added as a subscriber to this list. You can also import subscribers and create new contacts. Uh, ManyChat works as a chat feature via Facebook chat, but it also works via SMS. You can uh, sync it with SMS and email. Uh, you can use the growth tools to add plugins and widgets to your website. So for example, phone repair Philly, we'll go there. We'll see if we have it set up on that. Um, so you can get started for free. There's some free versions. Uh, and then you want to add the widget to your site after you connect to Facebook. So you'll hit get started. Uh, you can continue with Facebook uh, or just like sign in here if you already have an account and then you'll link that account to your Facebook page. Once you link it to your page, you're gonna wanna make sure um, you set up a growth channel, which is a widget you can add on your website or Facebook or run it on ads. And then you can set up automation messages, which is really cool. So over here, you can see here's our website. I have a little mini chat plugin with the message us icon right here, uh, which would be the, the uh, which one the website Facebook chat and you can see how many people are clicking and converting um, You know, there's 148 out opt-ins out of 24,000 So most people come to our website and they click us or call us a lot of people aren't messaging You know, it's a really tiny button here, but some people do uh, Message us and we can either talk to them directly right away or we can add them to the growth tools to send automated messages um, so you want to set up these automated messages off after you set up the growth tool, which you can get right here. Uh, you can get a piece of code and add it to your website. And then from that, you can set up sequences for how you want to respond to people who opt in. Um, so here on the bar, you know, you can customize the colors, the messaging, the delays. Uh, you can have it say, you know, what the next steps are. So if they click on that button, they can get pricing, schedule, or repair, or view your locations. Um, and I can set up automations based on that. So, you know, I would hit this button, it's gonna pull me up to Messenger, and then from here, uh, if it logs me into Facebook, continue with Mac Frederick, this is where people are basically opting in, and then they'll see that direct message to Phone Repair Philly. It's gonna pull up a chat. Sorry, my website's a little slow right now. And right now I have it set to just give them these options so it tells them what we have in stock and then they can call us uh, the first message though is really twenty dollars off phone repairs this is the first thing they would get i've already opted in before so now i just have a default message keep following up um, thanks for getting in touch please send us any questions you might have twenty dollars off phone repairs and then they could choose the buttons here where it's pricing location or scheduling so they could click one of these options so that's what it looks like once they opt in um, but how do we broadcast and send messages? So right here you have the growth tools. It shows how many people opted in. So you should have a list of people. There's also a live chat feature. If there's a bunch of people on your website, 
uh, you might be able to live chat with them. If they're on Facebook chat right now, it means they've opted in and I could message them directly right now. Um, this is just a sample list. Uh, but what we're wanna, going to want to do is go down to broadcasting. So this is where we send messages. Now I've reached the limit of a thousand contacts on the free account. So you can have a free account or you can upgrade to pro to broadcast messages to everybody. You'll see here in the last message I sent out back in February, it's been a while. Um, you know, I could copy that or do a new broadcast or broadcast from like a flow that I want people to take as to giving them options on what to click and everything. Um, shows you how many people read it, how many people clicked it, so on and so forth. So what we can do is we're gonna have to upgrade if we wanna send to everybody. See, it says please upgrade to pro. So if you have over a thousand contacts, you need to upgrade to pro. I'll do that right now. I'm gonna pause my screen. All right, the page connection and upgrade to pro was successful. I'll put a link in the YouTube video and the blog if you're looking for how to upgrade to pro and maybe getting a promo or discount. Um, so you can do new broadcast and you can choose chat messenger, uh, SMS where you need to connect an SMS sequence like Twilio, email where if people are opting in with emails you can do that or multiple channels all at once. This one's probably the best hit but you need to have all their information. So you could have a form on your website from ManyChat that gets name, number, email and you could message them like that just like you would with you know another marketing platform like a HubSpot or something. Um, for this case, you know, we would want to use Messenger. And so we could choose Messenger and click that here. From here, what we're going to do is we want to choose the first step is to send a message. And it is going to be, we're going to choose a post purchase update, which means they've opted in uh, and we're telling Facebook that they're a customer. And we're going to ask them if they are looking to sell a device. And you can take them to a website link. Super easy. You can put in additional options. Uh, you can choose all sorts of different button types, call buttons, messaging features, all that. And then from there, you can even add a next step if you want them to do something else. Or like have another button that says learn more and then a new pop-up. They'll get another message. You can really sequence this out so that they can watch videos, download files, you can put a time delay in here, uh, you can add another message, things of that nature. So I could add a delay here, typing three seconds. And then if you want to broadcast it, it's as easy as going to preview, if you want to preview it, and click send a messenger to preview the flow, so that way you can see it on your own device. But if you want to post it, you hit go to next, and then please select the type of content that your broadcast fits into. Uh, Facebook doesn't really like you blasting messages out to everybody. Um, so it's, you know, I'm going to put non-promotional or mixed content. So that way, you know, it does go to everybody unless a lot of people flag it. And targeting everybody, or you can do conditional targeting based on like who opted in, how they opted in, when they opted in. You could start sending now or schedule it for later. Uh, send it all in the same same time zones or spread it out and so mine's going to go to 1110 users I can preview if it I want um, but what we're going to do here is follow along start the new broadcast campaign choose the type choose your message green out of the message confirm the message preview that and send it out so now we can go to send now and you're going to send to these people for example blah 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 and we're going to hit send now. I will get the message on my phone because I've opted in and everybody else should get the message as well. You can then check up every few days or hours and see how well this performs. But yeah, that's really how you do it. Um, that's how you send the message out. I'm still learning and playing around with this, uh, this feature, this functionality. Um, it looks like it's already starting to be delivered, getting read. Here's the message that popped up on my phone. Have any older broken cell phone phone repair Philly, blah, 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 blah. So it works, it's good, it gives people options. People can uh, call or message you from there. You can sell more products and services and really scale your business. And you can put this on autopilot too and have it sort of automated. Um, 
doing drip campaigns based on like when people signed up and giving them options and messages like drip sequences. So thanks again for watching. This is how to broadcast messages on ManyChat. I hope you found this helpful and valuable. If you haven't yet, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on that bell for post notifications. My name is Mac Frederick. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. If you need any help setting this up and automating your mini chat and uh, direct messaging, give me a call and uh, we hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Peace.